Okay, we're going to talk about some of the um, properties of real numbers that you need to be aware of and be able to identify. Again, these will be on quizzes, tests, and the final. So you do want to make sure uh, you get these. Okay, so just kind of listen to what I have to say, and then I'll have you recreate it and uh, work on your homework for this, these sets of problems. All right, so the first uh, type of property that you want to uh, be able to identify is called the associative property. What the associative property states is that if you have sums or products, then you can regroup the parts of the sum or the parts of that product in any way that you, that you want. So if I have the sum of A plus B plus C, it doesn't matter if I group the last two terms, B plus C first, and then add A. Uh, those all represent the exact same uh, overall sum. So this is the associative property of addition. Okay, the order is not changing. It still goes term A, then term B, then term C. All that changes here is how they're grouped together. It can also work for multiplication. So you can take the product of A times B times C, and that has the same exact value as if you took A times the product of B times C. So once again, notice there's no order change. All that changes is how uh, the values are grouped together. If you have order change, it's called commutative property. Okay, so the commutative property is going to take this same thing, A plus B plus C. And if it's uh, representing the commutative property, it means it doesn't matter the order that these values are added together. You're still going to get the same sum, but there is going to be an order change. So now the C is going to move in front, and this whole binomial quantity A plus B gets moved to the back. Okay, so if there is order change, so now the left side goes A, then B, then C, the right side does not have that same order. The order changes. You're looking at commutative property. Okay, so this is commutative property of addition. It works also for multiplication. If you have A times B times C, it's equivalent to the product A times the value of the, the value of A times B uh, is equivalent to that. So here the order changes. Okay, so when you're looking at these here, no change in order. Here, there is a change in the order. Okay. All right, the next two uh, properties are uh, the inverse and identity properties. Okay. So I'm going to start with the identity property. The identity property basically is saying uh, for addition and for multiplication, what can you add or multiply a number by so that it equals itself? So if we look at addition, a plus what value is equal to A? What do you add to a number so that it equals itself, maintains its identity? Zero. Zero. So that's the addition, the uh, identity property of addition. And what about multiplication? What do you multiply a value by so that it maintains its original identity? One. So those are the two things that you would need to uh, be able to identify as far as identity properties. If we jump over to the inverse properties, there's inverse property of addition. And that is if you add the inverse or the additive inverse to a number, what's the total sum of a number plus its opposite? Zero. Okay, and so again, this, is, this number is called either the opposite or it's called the additive inverse. Okay, but that's the inverse property of addition. And if you multiply a number by its multiplicative inverse, okay, which is just the fraction flipped, so the numerator and denominator get flipped for the multiplicative inverse, okay, what is the product of A times 1 over A? So the A's cancel, you just get 1 times 1 or 1. Okay, and so this right here is either called the re reciprocal, or the multiplicative inverse. Okay, but that's the uh, inverse property of multiplication. Okay, the final property is the distributive property. The distributive property allows you to uh, multiply an individual factor times a sum or difference. I, and when you expand this out, oops, the, 
the A is what we call distributed through each of the terms in the sum or difference in the grouping symbol, so A times B plus A times C. And, and really this kind of works in both directions. If you work in this direction, sort of the normal direction that you would see here, the result is an expansion. If you work in the direction from right to left, what we would be doing here is we would be factoring. And so those are the different properties that you need to be able to identify um, from this material.